Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katharina and today I'm going to show you how I make shorts with a side bow. Let's get started! I trace the shorts that I found in my closet. It fits me well, so I decided to trace front and back plus the dots. Then I added 5 cm or 2 inches at the bottom to make it a little bit longer. My fabric for the shorts is a brown plate with golden sparkling lines. For the waistband I chose a matching golden fabric. I also need a 10 cm or 4 inches zipper. First I place the back part onto my fabric. I mark the plate lines on my pattern. I do this on both sides. Then I trace the back part and mark the dot. Before cutting, I place the front part so that the lines match at the side seams and trace it too. I almost forgot to mark the plate lines on the front part as well. Then I cut out both parts. The second front part I place according to my marked lines, so I can feel confident that the fabric lines match at the side seams. The same way I place the second back part. When all markings match, I trace and cut out front and back. My first sewing step is stitching the dots. Usually I stitch from the wider part to the point. Then I press the dots to the center. Before continuing I decided to search all edges. I do this with my searcher, but it's also possible with an ordinary zigzag stitch or with the overlock stitch of the sewing machine. After that I pin one front and back part facing right sides and stitch. During the stitching I decided to fix the golden line places with additional pins. I hope this will prevent the fabric layers from shifting. Between the second front and back part I will sew in the zipper. I pin both parts facing right sides. In the zipper area I baste, below the zipper I stitch with regular stitches. Then I pin the zipper along the seam with its right side down and stitch it from the right side of the fabric. I open the seam with a seam ripper and remove the cutted threads. Mm -hmm. 
Now I close the crotch seams. To join both parts, I match the center seams facing right sides. Then I pin along the center front and back and stitch them together. As before, I fix the golden line places with additional pins. To finish the hem of the shorts, I drew a marking line inside the legs. Then I turn the hem inside and stitch it. Now it's time for the waistband. I cut out three stripes of about 18 cm or 7 inches width. I want the whole waistband to be about 2.5 meters or 3 yards long. I join the stripes to one. I figure out the center of the waistband and the center of the shorts. Then I pin shorts and waistband together, matching the centers. I pin the right side of the waistband to the wrong side of the shorts and stitch. Then I fold the waistband to the right side of the fabric, overlapping the stitching line. I top stitch along the edge. Close the seam of the free hanging waistband, I pin it facing right side and stitch. I'd like to bevel the ends a little, so I draw a stitching line, sew and cut off the excess fabric. Turning is not a big problem, the waistband is wide enough.
Then I give it a good press. To close the openings, I just hand stitch them. And here is the finished look. The shorts fit well without being too tight. It goes very well with over knees, sneakers, high heels and boots. So it fits all occasions. You can make it out of a range of fabrics. Thicker ones for cool temperatures, lightweight ones for summertime. If you like my video, I would be pleased if you leave me a comment or a like. Apart from that, see you next Sunday.